what's going on with my eyebrows. Welcome to my fish room. Welcome. 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 Welcome to my fish roomette. This is a terrible introduction. So, this is my fish room. Um, it's a little section of my garage that I've been allowed. I've got a few tanks in here. It's been a while since I've made a video and done any kind of update. So, it was mainly used for discus, but as you can see, no discus. That's not to say there aren't any, there's some in over here, but the majority of the discus are now upstairs in the main display tank. I'll give you a bit of a run through of what we have here. So we've got water coming in hot and cold into a thermostatic shower valve which regulates the temperature, comes down into an HMA filter which then feeds into the storage tank up on top with a little float valve to make sure it doesn't overflow and I keep it in there to warm it all up with an air stone to keep it moving around and then I have a little siphon thing and then there's a hose with a little tap so I can refill all the tanks as and when I want to so Previously, this was all set up with a sump system down in the bottom, down there, but I've got rid of that. Um, so all this pipe work here is all left over from that, where everything was on an automatic water change, cycle the water down, and these came out, drained down into the sump, and then the sump had a pump in it to waste, which would refill. And that is actually the sump tank up there that I've just stripped out. So I've not got rid of this pipe work yet because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this long term. So I'll just leave it there as is for the moment. But at the moment, I've just got this little Brian the better or Bertie the better, depending on what my kids want to call him. I will have a go at breeding him one day, I think does keep doing bull nests for me. Um, next tank, just got some guppies. I do like the guppies, but they're mainly in there just to keep the filter cycling as well. I don't know what to do. This, this tank will be... Um, so, whenever I do get another pair form with the discus, that's where they'll go. And then probably use that one down there as a grow-out tank, or possibly even just split the one behind me. And here... Um, Somewhere. Well, there's a couple of cribs which you can't really see. Let me just move a light over. They're hanging out thinking of spawning, so I've given them this tank to have a go at breeding some of them. It's meant to be quite easy, but I managed to screw up everything else I have a go at, so we'll see how we get on. Um, down here. It's just a wee Geo here who is basically a bit of a wanker and he has been relegated to his own tank for the time being because he won't stop fighting, digging up and just generally being a dick. So he was in the display tank with um, all plants and things that just wouldn't leave anything alone and has fought with everything he's been in with ever since so looking for a new home for this guy. He was in previously a, a species tank and got rid of all the other ones. And then in with a big Texas cichlid. But that unfortunately died and left him on his own and he just does not get on well with the discus or anyone else. Got a couple of peppermint clickles in there, well three actually somewhere. Which have spawned once, but they probably didn't make it unfortunately. And in this one, and there's a couple of butterfly cichlids of Tomasi, 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 I'm not quite sure how to say it. 
I'm waiting for a few more of them to come because they're tiny little guys. So they can't get a, a pair for me when they get a bit older. And then over on this side, it's a bit cloudy at the moment. I think we've got some bacterial stuff going on. These are my runts, basically, from all my various breeding projects. So it's not quite as dirty as it looks on the camera, but this is my discus tank, which will either be carved up to make some breeding tanks or a big grow out tank, maybe, put on some divider or something like that. I've only just set this one back up again now to make room for the tumble dryer, which has to go in here. Um, so that's probably why it's a bit cloudy at the moment. That one's on a there's another line coming from the HMA feeds in there. And that's just a continuous drip which goes into the overflow and cycles there. I mean most of the stuff in there are filters in every tank, but I'm mainly relying on water changes. They're quite large water changes every day. Um so that's it as it stands. Um, five days. I shall keep everybody updated. Well, most of myself, so I'll probably be the only one watching it. Bye!